What's the safest place on Earth? 100%. My suggestion is Australia. If you also think to migrate Australia, it's very great decision. I can assure you that you have taken a decision, which you will appreciate only once you are settled here in this great country. I have been around the world and have seen many great places but end of the day I can say with pride that, Australia is the place I call home. If one has option to choose a country to live, then there are not many choices. The major attractions are USA, Europe or Australia. Sorry if I have not included one your countries, but we must agree that Asia, Africa and South America are not the best places to migrate at present but maybe in future. The rate of population growth has increased since the mid-2000s. Overseas migration is now the main driver of this, making up about 64% of population growth. By 2018, Australia's population had increased to 25 million people. China was on top of the migration list with your country coming second. Migrating to another country is not a simple decision. And there are instances where people went back to their country of origin because of the following major reasons. Homesick. Family reasons. Don't like the wildlife of Australia. Racism. Finding work. And maybe few more reasons, which I might not be aware of. The most obvious reason for your country to leave is that, if you have lived in a high-class lifestyle in your country where you have servants to cook, clean and listen to your loud voice then all that is not available in Australia. It will be very hard to come to terms with this new lifestyle of Western world where you do all the work around your house. So the easy way out is to go back and live in that lifestyle which might be important to many of us. The main reason for most of us to move to these countries is that either, we don't like the corrupt system or lack of opportunities to grow in a peaceful environment. If you are planning to settle in this beautiful country, my sincere advice to you is that do not get the feeling of being discriminated by others as it's the easy way out for any failure. So do not feel that you failed because of the color of your skin or because you don't know people in high positions, these things don't work here. So if you fail then next time try harder, and keep trying till you get the right job. Your country people the major complaint they have is about the whole system in Australia, but it's not true, you can see your country in Australia on top jobs, if they can get those positions and fame why not you or anyone else. Other honest advice to all my fellow our country is that it is important to mix with people of your own culture so that young kids learn all the good things about our rich culture. But also remember to mix with the western society as well. So be fair and appreciate the good things and mix up with Western culture too as this is going to be your home now. Most of the major cities have schools for regional languages for example Hindi, Punjabi, Tamil etc. These schools are run by non-profitable organizations on weekends. Contact your local association for more details. Sporting activities take place in all the cities where cricket, football, hockey, golf etc. Teams are formed for local competition. Lisa Stalker is first Indian to play for Australian women's cricket. I have seen basically our country people are very shy and it's not very good for any kid to be brought up as a shy kid. As most of you know in this competitive world one must make sure their kids are getting the best education and getting a chance to express their views. I welcome you to great country where you will meet good fellow and hope to see you around. In case you would like to add any more info please feel free comment it. Please subscribe this video and like it. Thanks for watching my video.